How to prevent monkeypox is very simple, true or false. Monkeypox is the latest threat to the global travel and tourism industry. Israeli doctors say that monkeypox is a new STD, maybe with a twist. After WHO declared a global health emergency, health officials recommended that at-risk populations get vaccinated and use condoms during sexual activity. Monkeypox is not deadly, but it's ugly, said travel safety and security expert Dr. Peter Tarlow, today in E-Turbo News Breaking News Show. He added rumors are out monkeypox could be spread when sitting on a not fully disinfected airline seat after an infected passenger. The spread of monkeypox across the globe could mark the beginning of a new sexually transmitted disease, though some medical experts say it is too soon to designate the virus as such officially. The World Health Organization, WHO, on Saturday declared the outbreak a global health emergency and noted that there are now more than 16,000 confirmed cases in 75 countries, as well as five deaths linked to the virus. It noted that most cases were concentrated among men who have sex with men, especially those with multiple sexual partners. The WHO's designation means that the World Health Body views the outbreak as a threat requiring a coordinated international response to prevent the virus from taking root. Historically, monkeypox spread in small numbers in remote parts of West Africa and Central Africa, where animals carry the virus. The current outbreak is viewed by health officials as unusual because of its spread in countries where the virus is not typically found. Europe is currently the global epicenter of the outbreak and has reported over 80% of confirmed cases worldwide. In the U.S., roughly 2,500 infections have been confirmed in 44 states. Dr. Roy Zucker, director of the Tel Aviv Sourasky Medical Center, Ichilov Hospital's LGBTQ Health Services and a doctor at Clalit Health Services, said that whether or not monkeypox could be designated as an STD is a great question. By Maya Margot, the media line with input from E-Turbo News.